Alright, how's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining us for another episode of Premier Esports Academy's web series. Again, my name is Dan Himmelstein, founder and brain coach at Premier Esports Academy, and today we're going to talk about something that's going to save you a lot of frustration down the road. Today we're going to talk about controlling the controllables. Now, I want to get this out of the way. I'm not feeling so great, uh, so pardon my sniffling and, and sneezing if that does occur. Um, but, uh, you know, I wanted to get this content out to you, and it kind of ties along into what we're going to be talking about today is, you know, sometimes we don't wake up on the right side of the bed, sometimes we wake up uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, but, you know, we just have to figure out ways to deal with this and ways to go about it, and whether we need to say, hey, you know, today's not my day, or we work with what we got. So, controlling the controllables, the two things I'm going to talk about today are going to be effort and attitude. Those two things uh, are always in your control, and it's something that if we start to really adjust and use to our advantage, there are things that we can really take advantage of. So being sick and all that brings me to my first point. You know, sometimes we wake up, and we wake up on the wrong side of the bed. We're not feeling our best. We're not feeling 100%. And that's perfectly okay. That's what makes us human. Uh, but we still need to deal and manage those types of days. We can't just right off the day and say, oh, well, you know, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, let's give it a whirl tomorrow. We still have a job to do and a test to complete that day. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to put in as much effort as we possibly can. So let's give you an example. Let's say I woke up uh, feeling about 85%. Now, if I can put in 100% of that 85%, pardon me, I might sneeze. We'll save that one for later. <laughs> Um, if I'm able to put part of me, that 100%, into that 85, then we're still going to be able to create a productive day, and we're going to actually train ourselves to prepare for days like this in the future. So, when it becomes a problem when we wake up on the wrong side of the bed is if we put in 50% of that effort. So, we woke up at 85%, you know, that's our cap, we have a, a bit of a ceiling, now, if we're putting in 50% of that 85, now we're really going to have a crummy day, and that day might just be a total wash. So, keep in mind that, you know, we're going to have our bad days. It's going to happen. But we have to figure out an action plan to still figure out how to put that stuff aside and put in what you can for that day, since there is a task to do, a job to complete. Now, here's the thing. What if we wake up for a major or, you know, a really big tournament, that you know our career might be on the line for let's call it that we have to figure out an action plan for ways to go about putting that type of stuff aside and getting yourself in this appropriate mindset to continue the day and to put in that maximum amount of effort that our body and our mind are going to be allowing to do now there's going to be a number of techniques and it's a matter of figuring out what works for you and you know one of the things i do is i still write out my to-do list I have all the things laid out that I need to do, one of which today was this video. <laughs> so, you know, make sure that you're taking care of that list and, again, not going in and giving it 50%. You have to really segment your tasks out and say, okay, cool, I want to do this task at this set amount of time, get it done, out of the way, put in as much effort to do it as you can, and call it, you know, finish it there, then move on to your next task. So one of the things I recommend on days that you're not feeling 100%, make sure that you're not trying to multitask with 15 different tasks going on because that's asking for disaster in the first place. But make sure you put a really focused 100% effort into the task that's in front of you, complete it, and then move on to the next. And, you know, this obviously relates back to esports. You know, like I said, we're not going to always wake up feeling really well. But, you know, there's still, we still have to get, let's call it a practice routine. We still have to get on, we still have to scrim, we still have to make our plays, put in our feedback at the end, apply that feedback, make an action plan for tomorrow, and keep on pushing, keep on moving through. Now, the other thing that's always in your control is your attitude. And, you know, I, I'm sure I'm going to hear a couple arguments to this, but your attitude is always something that's in your control. You can choose to blame others, and you can you can choose to criticize and become toxic and choose to be salty and you know maybe you choose not to provide your feedback or input on a practice session or a game but again that's bringing in a poor attitude we have to choose an attitude that's going to help you and everyone else on your team succeed so that attitude 
you know, that's in your control. You can say, hey, today I'm going to look at the silver lining on things. I'm going to try and really learn from my mistakes instead of blaming or criticizing and saying, well, you know, I suck, he sucks, they suck, my team sucks. And really, you know, taking taking accountability and looking uh, at looking at your play, looking at your training, looking at your scrim, and looking at it with a positive attitude and saying, cool, you know, this is what went well. This is what didn't go so well, and this is what I'm going to do about it for next time. Now, that's bringing in a much better attitude at the beginning of the day than, you know, just being salty the whole day. Or, you know, say you got into a fight with a sibling or a friend or something, and, you know, you bring that into the game. That's going to really affect your overall training for that day, your scrim, your competition, anything of that matter. So, like I said, the two things that are always in your control, and I'm sure there's more, but, you know, in esports, there's a lot out of our control. So, what's in our control? Effort and attitude. Now, you know, we could go on for days about what's not in our control. You know, our opponents, their practice schedules, their training routines, um, temperature of the arena. You know, there's so much that's out of our control that if we spend all of our mental energy and our focus on trying to fix or change those things that are out of our control, I mean, we're going to go nuts. We're going to go crazy. So we have to make sure that we're focusing on those things that are in your control, the things that we can change, the things that you can tell yourself, hey, you know, this is in my power. Why am I doing this improperly? You know, we can't say always, you know, all oh, the temperatures are wrong or, um, you know, I, my chair wasn't comfortable. I mean, maybe you could switch out your chair or things like that. But, you know, sometimes those things are just not in our power and we don't have any say over the matter. So we're going to spend our mental energy focusing on the things that we can control. And I challenge you to identify more of what those things are. You know, effort and attitude, those aren't going to be the only things that are in your control all the time. But they're two very distinct factors that we can really make sure that we're using to our advantage. So for that, we're going to leave you with that today. Um, looking forward to really answering questions from users. You know, I've been getting a lot of um, really cool comments and been able to engage with some of the people who are watching these videos. So I really want to encourage you, ask some questions, shoot me an email at dan.himmelstein.com or at gmail.com or dan at premieresportsacademy.com. I really want to hear them. Um, or, you know, shout me out on Twitter. My handle is dhims underscore esports. It's over on the bottom right of your screen. So, you know, I, I want to help you guys understand what all this esports psychology and things mean. You know, let's find some things that are really going to be useful for you that you can grab on and take a hold of and use to your advantage. So, again, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, subscribe so you, that, that way you know when a new video comes out. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.